Hi, I'm Ting Nguyen, Program Director of Career Development at the UCSF Office of Career and Professional Development. I'm going to talk to you about why and how to create an Individual Development Plan, or IDP, using My IDP, which is available for free at sciencecareers.org. So, why create an IDP? As a graduate student or postdoc, have you wondered how to devote time to research plans and make time for career exploration and advancement? One solution is creating an IDP. An IDP is a process you go through to help you plan for your career, develop professional skills, and accomplish your research goals step by step. Now, IDPs are not a new idea. Businesses, the government, and military have all used IDPs, and now for the biomedical sciences, graduate students and postdocs are strongly encouraged to complete IDPs. The purpose of an IDP is to identify a long-term career goal and then create next step goals to help get you there. Developing goals is backed by dozens of research studies in organizational psychology literature. Thinking about goals motivates people to pursue them, and developing specific goals makes it more likely that people will achieve them. Implementing career strategies results in higher salaries, more promotions, and greater satisfaction overall. In fact, a 2005 survey of postdoctoral scientists showed that those who had a structured plan were more satisfied, more productive, and had less conflicts with their advisors. This kind of planning really works. Another study showed that both postdocs and mentors who worked on an IDP agreed the process was valuable overall. It helped postdocs to assess their research skills and additional skills they would need to succeed in their careers. And interestingly, completing an IDP facilitated communication between postdocs and their mentors about career goals. So, how do you do an IDP? To create an IDP, you'll go through these four steps. First is the assessment of your skills, interests, and values. You'll create a prioritize list to inform your career decisions. Career exploration is the next step. In this phase, you'll learn about a wide variety of careers based on your assessments and make a best decision about which direction to head in. Then you'll set goals. Setting research goals can help you finish your training and set skill and project goals to make progress in your career and professional development. Then you'll implement the plan. Share your goals with your mentors and colleagues and then repeat this process again next year. What does an IDP look like? An IDP is your project and skill goals mapped onto a timeline. Here's an example of a senior level graduate student's goals. In October, she plans to submit a paper, send data to a collaborator, and she's preparing a guest lecture because she wants to be a better teacher. Two of these are project goals, and one is a skill goal. Then in November, she will address the reviewer's comments, follow up with the collaborator, deliver the talk she's been practicing, and visit a liberal arts college to see what being a faculty in this type of institution is like. She has two project goals, one skill goal, and one career planning goal. So, if you are wondering how to enhance your research training, explore careers, and maintain productivity in your research, an IDP is one great way to be proactive. Thanks for watching.